again, another special car. This is a, this is a Lamborghini Diablo Roadster. Um, again, UK car. Hi right guys, from Alex from Peak Performance Reviews. Um, we've got another vlog going on today, so a bit of a different one, not going out in cars as such, but looking at cars. So we are at Appreciating Classics um, in uh, uh, Loddon and uh, basically we're going to show you around the whole vicinity and what they do and what kind of cars they get. Um, the reason why I'm wanting to do a company profile um, in the spotlight on these guys is because they are absolutely amazing guys. They are literally in the UK pretty much second to none as far as I'm aware. I'll take you around the factory, I'll show you Richard and we'll, we'll ask him loads of questions, uh, have a look at his stock and show you why they are just so damn good. Um, Keep an eye on the uh, video and um, keep watching. Hi guys, uh, I'm here with Richard from Appreciating Classics. Uh, basically, he's just going to take us around the cars and uh, tell us a bit more about them. So yeah, Richard, uh, let's start with the Lambo and talk, right. us around, uh, talk us around the car, I guess. Okay, so this is a 1984 Lamborghini Countach 5000S. Um, it's in original condition and has covered 3000 miles from new. Uh, it's missing the rear spoiler, I say missing, that was an option later on, on the later cars. Okay. Um, you'll see there's a picture on the wall of one with a, with a spoiler, and we believe the non-spoiler cars are, are rising in value quicker than the spoilered cars. Okay. Um, the early Countaches without the wide arches, what, what people refer to as the natural Countach, and they're, they're now over a million pounds. Wow. The registration on the car is actually the registration. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, look, matches. We. <laughs> what? How many of these are there, Richard? How many? How many exist, or how many are left? Um, I guess. We've not actually looked up how many are left. This is a UK car, so it's a right-hand drive UK okay. car. Um, and that was taken out to South Africa um, early in its life and stored away, hence the low mileage. Awesome. Um, but we've not actually looked at how many left of the 5,000 mm -hmm. less. It's all a bit difficult through howmanyleft.com because yeah. they, how they don't always record them correctly. No. How many were there then? How many were there, were there a, low, uh, a low number output um, car? or from, from reading online, I've read sort of 88, but I, it's very oh, difficult yeah. to tell. Yeah. Um, I don't think anyone actually knows, to be honest. That's awesome. I've got some interior shots as well. But I'll, I'll show you. Um, I've already. I'll show you around the car, um, inside and outside. I'm going to go onto this uh, Escort as well. Okay. So, so this is a 1971 Escort Mexico. It's genuine Mexico. Um, there's always there's always a bit of a, a bit of hoo-ha over whether they're genuine or not. Yeah, there's a lot of people. There's plenty out there that aren't. Yes, definitely. And this has been. I say restored. It's not. It's not been restored. It's been refreshed. Okay. Um, and the engine has had a bit of tuning work done. That's light and balanced, can pour it, flowed. It's got twin fours. Um, it's a fantastic car to, to drive. Um, so, this is the original colour combo. This is as it came. Okay. It's not been resprayed in a different colour like many of them have. Um, the interior has been re trimmed. I, I love the dash in it. I absolutely love the dash. Yeah, definitely. It's amazing. Should be able to see in low light. Um, if it's gone a bit grainy, I do apologise. But you you can see how immaculate and how well this has been looked after. What mileage is on this one, Richard? Is it a low, a reasonably low mileage? It's, it's whatever is, is that on twelve thousand miles, is it? Yeah. But you with these, with it having been refreshed, I, I mean, it is it, a yeah. one previous owner car, which is pretty Excellent. much unheard of with these. I bet. Yeah. Um, so it is a low owner car. Excellent. Lovely. And all so far, these these cars are all they're all for sale. As such, and the Countach isn't actively for sale. Yeah. So I came along and made a made a big offer, and the Mexico is about to go up for sale. Um, this isn't current currently for sale. Okay. This is a seventy nine Capri three liter S. Um, again, it's an original car. It's not been messed around with. It's had no tuning works done, and this is you'll see on the dashboard. There's a little Corgi Vanguard's. Toy. Oh yeah. Well, that is actually this car. The red on, oh, on the Corgi. No is way. Is actually this car. Let's see if I can see that. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's cool. So I, I presume the the, pe the people that would 
buy this would get that little car with it, would they? Or you well, keep you it? Know, <laughs> yeah, we, we've got a few of them, so yeah, they'd they get one with it. Um, oh, that's it. That's and it, it's, it's a low mileage car, you know, you can amazing. tell just by the interior. Yeah, it's immaculate. It I think amazing. it's on, what, what are we on, 32,000 miles, and that, that is genuine. Yeah, like I said before, guys, I'll, get, I'll give you the links in the bio as to where you've got to go to, you know, see these cars, and you can have a look on the online, online showroom. Um, and yeah, the, the obviously, uh, a large stock list, um, but obviously cars like this, they, uh, they, you know, people see them and they, they buy them. Uh, they are absolutely amazing. But yeah, we're going to show you some more. So uh, keep tuned in. That was room one. Let's go into room two and see what we've got. Right now, I'm told that this is, well, it's not an overspill room, but it's basically um, new stock, which has basically been taken in. Um, and um, it's probably been given, um, you know, some level of detail, or it's or the cars that basically Rich is getting, and the guys are getting are just um, very, very clean cars. Going to take you around them with Rich, so I can tell you exactly what they are. And I think some of you will probably be able to um, guess and or know what some of these are. They are pretty special. Came in here earlier on, and we were saying this is a, an extra uh, stock room as such. So we've got some even more cars. Um, I'll let Richard talk you through some of the cars that are in here and uh, yeah, start with whichever one you want, I guess. Which... Shall we go for the TT? Yeah, let's go for the TT. Yep. Okay, so this is a Mark 1 Audi TT um, 225. It's a one owner car, which is quite rare for these. And it's from memory 56,000 miles. So it's not mega low mileage, but it's still mm -hmm. nice mileage. Um, and the, these are being touted as a very good investment, you know, a future classic. And, and with a low owner, full history, low mileage, and um, it's quite a lot of car for not a lot of money, really. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I can imagine these will appreciate. Um, you don't see so many of these ones on the road as much, and no, no. good examples are probably very, very hard to find because they were getting, they were getting to the point where I suppose um, there were ones that were higher mileage that lots of people were getting for decent price, but now finding a good example is probably few and far between, I suspect. Yeah. So, and the, the good thing about a car like that is it's reliable. Yes. You know, a lot of people will buy a classic car and they're not reliable. Um, you know, you, you can go out, you can use this whenever you, whenever you like, you know it's going to start, you know it's going to make, make it to the end of the journey. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, I, I suppose you could class it as a modern classic. Yeah, really. that's right, yeah. Well, they're all going to be, aren't they? You, you yeah, know when yeah. you see trends, what kind of things are starting to kind of make their way to that classic status, even, right. even if they're reasonably modern yeah. um, by standards. But yeah, no, well, great. We do do a few modern modern cars uh, down there so yeah. we'll talk about that in a minute in the, so we've got an rx7 but this is a bit of a special one it's, yeah, um, this is a special car yeah um, this is one of my favorites yeah and this is a mazda rx7 spirit r and it is the type a so they made 1500 of these for the japanese domestic market only apparently you take it with a pinch of salt but we've been told that there's only sort of five or six known Spirit R's in the UK yeah. um, that have been brought over. Yeah, I don't think there's probably a lot at the, all. This one is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it and looks... Fantastic car to drive. It's, uh, it's got the, the Kevlar seats. I don't know if you've yeah. it. No, I haven't actually. Okay. Let's have a little look one. And these are a standard item, aren't they? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, that's so that's carbon nice Kevlar. Yeah. Carbon Kevlar seat, nice lightweight seat. And these are um, typically light, lighter than most pretty much any other um, version that was out, weren't they, as well? Yeah, that's right, yeah. There, there was quite a few differences on the Spirit R wheels, suspension, and the, the seats. There, there's quite a few. It wasn't actually any more powerful. Um, it, it was basically lighter and a bit more hardcore. Um, but yeah, yeah, mega car to drive, real good driver's car. And I think, with the Japanese performance cars, the way they're going, a really good investment as yeah, well. Yeah, that will be, I think, definitely. I mean, to have, I mean, RX7s are going up anyway. To yeah. have one that's that exclusive is uh, second to none, isn't it? Yeah. So, really good. And then on to this Cavalier, which, what is this? Right, okay, so this is a um, Vauxhall Cavalier Turbo 4x4. Mm -hmm. um, amazingly, it's not been tuned. The yeah. C20 letter is in original form. And it, it was a, a family owned car. It's been very well looked after. It's, it's pretty much all original. Is that right? Open, open it up? Yeah, yeah, it's fine, yeah. I'll let you do that. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is tidy. 
and mileage, 61,000 as well, amazing, yeah. So again, not mega low. I mean, we've got quite a special box. So come in, got a Mark II Astra GTE, come in uh, 16 valve with 8,000 miles. Um, but you know, trying to find a Cavalier Turbo with that sort of mileage oh, is yeah, impossible. Definitely. Especially um, in that condition, full yeah, stop, isn't yeah, it? It is a lovely car. Let me pop the bonnet out. Yeah, definitely. Got the driver is clean. It's super clean. It's just in lovely condition. Yeah, definitely. Like you say, uh, when when something's that tidy, I mean, even though sixty thousand miles isn't isn't a lot anyway, it's the condition of uh, you know yeah, how amazing yeah. that that you is. Know, we've had a few people look around the car, and I said, all right, tell, tell me what the mileage is without looking at the at the mileage. Yeah, and no one's been anywhere I, near. I, I would I, I would have guessed twelve thousand miles yeah, or something exactly, like that. Yeah. If if even yeah. that to be honest with you, because it looks bloody new. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Awesome. Bikes tucked up in the corner. Yep. Bikes are something that I'd certainly like to get a bit more involved with. Mm -hmm. um, bikes are the, the sort of 80s, 90s, maybe even early 2000s are starting to do the same as the cars. Oh, okay. um, this GSXR will be restored um, to its former glory. And um, we've got next to it a little Kawasaki AR50 which has been restored. Awesome. Um, and it is it's stunning. Um, next to that we've got CBR600. Uh, we're 2,000 miles from the, um, maybe not the most sought after bike, but yep. it's low mileage and it is. It's... Cool. Um, next we've got a little, there's a mini um, RSP. Okay. This has done 302 miles Whoa. from me. That's um, crazy. It's basically been with a collector and just been sat in, in a collection. That's um, crazy. I say sat in a collection as if it was neglected. It wasn't sort of tucked away in the corner. That was, no. that was moved around. That was service. Um, that's just always been treated as a collectible car. Oh, it's incredible. Yeah, it's a lovely car. Yeah, again, that would be a, an amazing investment for someone. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. They, 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 they go. Up, I, I can't. I can't remember what the stats are now. But old minis, I think it's something like. Five or ten percent a year, yeah, they're going up. And with that mileage, it's just yeah. absolutely yeah. unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Awesome. Um, so something a little bit more modern. Yeah, this this is quite modern, and um, we're selling this on behalf of one of our uh, good customers. This is a Ferrari dealer edition, and uh, not to be confused with the later Ferrari Tribute. Um, basically, Ferrari asked for two hundred. Um, courtesy cars for their dealers. Okay. Um, and most of them weren't a Bath. Okay. Uh, a handful of them were the Bath. And if we just um, let me just pop this open. From the outside, there's not much to give it away. Most of it is on the inside. You've got these these kick plates with Ferrari dealers. Yeah, that's awesome. And then I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up. At the bottom of the centre console, there's a little plaque numbered. Look, yeah, yeah, I can. that's cool, that's lovely, and the seats in them are absolutely cool. Yeah, they're really nice, it's a lovely, lovely little car, yeah. But they're, they've become very collectible, this is 18,000 miles, um, basically the Ferrari dealer asked you if you wanted to buy it, um, so you were invited to buy it. Oh, that's cool. They, they sound fantastic, they've got Monza exhaust system on, the Advanced version has. Yeah. Um, does not sound like a bit of No. It sounds really, really nice. You can really hear the turbo, can't you, through the through the back of the... Yeah, the and, and, they, and they pop and they bang. They, yeah. they just sound awesome. Um, again, that's got full history and um, two previous owners. Um, Is it similar to the 695? Does it have like a, a remote button to open and close the, does it have open and closing the valve of the valve and the exhaust? No, or? no. The 695 was was after this, um, yeah. and that, that's that's the model that they based the Ferrari Tribute edition that's on, it, yeah. um, which was a numbered car. It was a limited edition car. I can't remember how many now, but it certainly wasn't yeah. as low as 200. Yeah, um, that's incredible. And then next to that, we, we've got a new era bath, and we're just selling this. Um, asked if we could sell it. So, yeah. So yeah, we we put it on the on the cool. website, and, and it's, it's, just, it, it's absolutely immaculate. Yeah, they're they're lovely little cars anyway, aren't they're, they? They're great to drive. Really yeah. Good to drive. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's low mileage immaculate. So we said yeah, we'll put it on and, and we'll sell it. Cool. Um, we got a Capri here. Yeah. So this is um, 
1984 Ford Capri 2.8i special, uh, 56,000 miles, one previous owner. This is still in prep. Uh, we're still doing bits and bobs for this to yep. get it ready for sale. Um, I, I, we're sort of 75% of the way through getting it ready. That's just been in for a full service. Yeah, it still looks in you know decent condition. Obviously, there's is, things yeah. to be done, but it's it's certainly not your kind of typical one that you see on the road. That's got you know uh, loads of things that need to be done to it. It's just no, a case of no. a few bits being needing to be done to it, and it's a, a lovely car for someone when it's ready. It it's is. really and nice. Again, you know, a bit like what we said about minutes. Capris are, are doing very well at the Yeah, time. definitely. Um, they're, they're they're a good investment. And then you have got an Escort. Yeah, there? that's a one point six i Cabriolet. Okay. Um, we're selling that for a customer. Yep. That's it, in lovely condition. Um, it has been repainted very well um, in the original Excellent. colour. Um, I, again, he just came to us and asked if we could sell it on his behalf. Brilliant. Um, we, we get a lot of people asking that now. We used to sort of stay, stay away from sale or returns, but I, it seems there is demand out there for sale or return options. Cool. That's nice, really nice. Proper retro little car, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. And then you've got this Vectra. So there's a V6, obviously something a bit more um, different again. Yeah. There's there's probably, I, I'm guessing there's hardly any of these on the road as well. Um, no, these, these are quite rare, especially in, in low mileage yes. condition. This has done 33,000 miles. And so this is a Vectra GSI, a two and a half litre V6. Yeah. The only non-standard item on it is the front grille. Yeah. been replaced for an Amsha Amsha, yeah, yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. Um, other than that, the car's original and in fantastic yeah, condition. Yeah, it looks in absolutely immaculate condition. Again, when this goes live on our website, which will probably be in the next week or so, that's a, that's a lot of car for not a lot of money. Yeah, definitely. And, and a car that's certainly going to appreciate in value. Yeah, definitely. And then last in here, we've got a BMW E46 M3. Yep, um, this has done 44,000 miles. Um, black with red manual gearbox. Okay. So uh, again, you don't see many of these low mileage. No. Generally, they've done a lot of miles. Um, they've got subframe issues, vanos yes. issues. Uh, this has been very well looked after. It's all in original paint. The, the wheels have never been refurbished. Okay. Um, we've gone through the car, took it to main dealer, had a full service carried out. Um, all new Michelin Pilot Sports on. And so basically we just go through them and make sure everything is tip top. Um, so this one is nearly ready to, to be put up for sale. Cool, nice, lovely, really nice. Lovely colour combo. Very nice colour combo, yeah. I love the, uh, the red leather interior as well, yeah. really suits it well. For me, you just open it up actually? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's a nice combo. I like the, I like the, 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 the colour of the... What colour do they call that, do you know, Rich? Or is it, is it a black, a black kind of blue or it's dark? A, um, I think it's Cosmos Black. Yeah, Cosmos, it's like a blue, bluey yeah. black, isn't it? It's a um, lovely colour. And what is the name? And the red. <laughs> I'm asking now, and I. But no, that's a lovely combo. That is a really nice combo. And again, with the manual, proper driver's car, with yeah, the yeah. proper driver's uh, gearbox, manual, definitely the way to go. We've got oh, um, really nice. The rear seats are completely on board. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, it is, it is immaculate in here, guys. Again, if you if you like the look of any of these cars and you're interested, get on the website and then come and have a visit because these cars are absolutely awesome. Really, really nice. So, yeah, we just need to give the seats a, a bit of a, a leather clean and a treatment and a couple of other bits and it's ready to go on the website. Lovely. That was room number two. Let's go into room number three. This room has been dubbed the special room it is the room of dreams basically this is the room basically of absolutely amazing cars points to whoever guesses what's under there i reckon you i reckon you you could guess but i'm not going to give it away you'll see later in the video but there's some obviously there's some hints as to what some of the cars are um, but there's basically some pretty impressive machinery in here and you guys will see fairly shortly. 
mentioned here earlier on, guys, I was asking you to have a, um, a little guess as to what kind of under these uh, covers. Rich is going to show us now, so we're going to start with the one over here. Okay. We know it's a Mitsubishi, or unless he's throwing us off the scent. But... <laughs> it's a Subaru. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's definitely uh, a Mitsubishi. Yeah, uh, so it looks like a Tommy Mackin in addition, yeah, yeah. and, and it looks got, um... absolutely immaculate. It really is. So this is a um, red Tommy Mackin in addition. This has done just over 50,000 miles. And it's a shame, I don't know, you might be able to do this later. Um, camera underneath, because underneath it just, it's, it's gorgeous. It's immaculate, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, this is a red Tommy Mackin, and this is what they call an SCP model. Okay. Um, you, can, you can tell this by the red door tops. Uh, if it's got red door tops, that means it came with the stripes, okay. um, black door handles, white spoiler blade, a few other bits and bobs. Um, but yeah, it, it's a lovely, lovely car. And these are a, a really good investment at the minute. Yeah, I can imagine. I've, I've kind of, I, I, I recall kind of looking at one myself um, a few years back. Um, and I just um, noticed that they're kind of going up and up and up. Oh yeah, they really are, yeah. Yeah, and even under here, it looks just absolutely immaculate, doesn't it? Looks like how I'd imagine it would look out the showroom, basically. Yeah. Sometimes I say when um, when someone's looked after something, it can sometimes look nicer than even uh, uh, yeah, a, show, agree, yeah. uh, a yeah. showroom can. Because yeah. I, I think sometimes um, the d detailing um, aftermarket, you know, detailing of, of your of yourself, if you're a bit of a um, you know anal person in yeah, terms yeah, of like yeah. which you are <laughs> and you guys are then you, I think it looks better than even out of the factory yeah. would it's just there's a few bits I'd, I'd do to this just yeah. a few little bits just yeah. to, to bring up that, that bit better no, um, it looks damn but good. yeah overall it is very good yeah it's phenomenal isn't it considering obviously these cars are obviously at some point must have been used because they're, they're you know on a on a used uh, mileage as such well that's right um, yeah. Yeah. they are absolutely immaculate so no awesome that was really nice that we've got another one, another red Tommy Mackin. So you probably got you got one a, a few of not many that exist basically. Yeah. <laughs> so this one is um, twenty six thousand miles. Okay, and the other one had what was that? That's just over fifty. So fifty on uh, the one that we've just seen, and yeah, now this one's just over twenty. Yeah. So so this Absolutely. this is a mixture of kilometres and miles because it, mm -hmm. it was brought in okay. from Japan a few years ago. Uh, this one was brought in pretty much brand new. Uh, so it's all, all it's all in miles. It's got full UK history to, to warrant the mileage. Um, yeah, uh, you you can tell that there's certain bits on this car that are a bit better than this car. Yeah. Um, mainly interior. Okay. Um, in Japan, they suffer quite badly. The tops of the rear seats fade a little and things like that. Yeah. Um, whereas over here, you don't don't have such a big issue. Good. Yeah. Um, pop the pipe in this one as well. Again, it's you know, very good condition. Yeah, definitely. Just in such good condition, aren't they? Absolutely amazing. And Japanese cars, well, particularly Evos, but most Japanese cars of that era, they do suffer under the bonnet. Yep. As you will well know, I'm yep. a Supra yourself. Yeah. The metals, the plating, things yeah. like that, they, oh, yeah. they weren't the best. Oh, definitely, yeah. Um, so, so things do tend to corrode under the bonnet quite, yeah, definitely. quite badly. No, it look, looks good. Looks really good. Absolutely awesome. Um, and next to that one we've got a, this is a non-Tommy Macklem. Um, this is 15,000 miles. Got the Evo 6 Lancer private plate on it. Yeah. And again, absolutely immaculate. This one's obviously got a few modifications on it, a few bits and bobs. Yeah, nothing, nothing major. It's no. got it's got rally art um, hard pipe kit on there, mm -hmm. um, with a with a rally art intake. Um, this is all stuff that was Mitsubishi warranted. You know, you, you could go to Mitsubishi uh, to rally art have it oh, okay. on, and you would, you, cool. would, you would keep your Mitsubishi warranty. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's got it's got a few rally that's art cool. upgrades. It's got the hard pipe kit, um, ECU exhaust. Just bits and bobs. And again, nothing that this kind of car couldn't take, you know, uh, in terms oh, of power. No, no, not at all. Um, 
These are just like you know basic mods that probably make a, an already potent car even more potent. It just makes it a lot better to drive. Yeah. Um, you know when you compare it to a, to a standard one, a standard one drives very nice. Um, it just gives it that bit that bit more. It kind yeah. of feels like how it should have been made from the factory. Yes. Yeah. Um, just brings it up to date really. Just immaculate in there as well. Very nice. Very you'll nice. see, you'll see inside. Um, that's got the rally art pedals, rally art gauges, and um, basically it, one lady owner from New, um, and she had rally art when they were still in business. Come and collect the car once a year oh, um, on a low loader, take it away, do a full service, and each time it went away, they, they obviously to make a bit more money suggested, why don't you have this? Why don't you have that? Um, and every time she just said yes, and they put it on. Mm. Excellent. That's very really nice. They're all really, really nice. Cool. Yeah. Right. On to the next. This is a special car under here. This is a Escort Cosworth, which most people will be very familiar with. A quite well-known car. This one is a bit special. This is, as far as we know, the lowest mileage example left, certainly in this country. And it looks like a really nice example as well. I remember hearing that you've got a really, really nice low mileage one of these around. It certainly open. looks uh, nice. The, the, the seats are a bit of a giveaway, as you know how good they are. And is the mileage up here? Is it? Yep. Look. Oh, that is crazy. Let me get a zoom on that. Eight hundred thirty-seven. That is absolutely crazy. Zero zero eight three seven. That is absolutely insane. Eight hundred and thirty-seven miles, people. So basically, if you want an immaculate low mileage Escort Cosworth, please, I don't think you're going to find one with eight hundred and thirty-seven miles on the clock. That is absolutely unreal. I'm still on the original tyres. No. Still got the original wheel weights on them. Oh, that's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Madness. It just looks like it's rolled just straight out of the showroom. Again, a bit like the, the, the Cantash. Uh, it's not actively for sale. Yep. Um, uh, that, that sort of took away as a bit of an investment. But if um, if we were to receive a, a good offer on the car, then we would consider selling it. Yeah, and to be fair, I, 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 it's worth, I mean, it's just worth so much money with that mileage on it. And it's a special car anyway that's appreciating and value. If you've got this in your garage, guys, whoever buys this, for example, when you've got a car with 837 miles on the clock, you imagine the appreci appreciation on that. Um, it's gonna go up absolutely exponential of that at some stage, and uh, you're gonna make some good money on that, I, I suspect, and or have a very nice toy sitting in your uh, special garage, but yeah. No, yeah really and uh, on to the next then, what we right, got there. Um, under this one, we've got an early Testarossa. This is at 23,000 miles. Lovely. And this is a this is an early one, brown dashboard, single high top mirror. I will just unhook the cover yeah. off that mirror. I'll let you do that. I'll go around the side. So yeah, it's got so it's got a single mirror. Yeah, single high top mirror. That's crazy. And actually, perfectly placed when you drive. Yeah. It looks a bit odd on there. But when you drive the car, it's perfect. That's awesome. Um, and yeah, it, it, so brown dashboard with brown carpets. Um, and is that diff that's different then, is it? That's the, yeah, the brown later on in the production cycle, they, they went black dashboard, black carpets, um, which although it looked nicer, um, the, the brown is, is a bit rarer. Um, yeah, it's definitely nice to have something completely unique that you know no one else will have or not many people will have. Um, it is absolutely awesome. No, I love it. It's a nice it's, car. It's very 80s. It's very, very yes. wedgy. Yes. Um, surprisingly good to drive, then. Oh, okay, cool. Um, it's, it's got the knock-on wheels rather than the later um, stood wheels. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a very cool, very iconic car. Yeah, it's a nice car. And again, it's, it's original and low mileage. And that's for sale? It could be at the right Could price. be for sale at the right yeah. yeah, excellent. Lovely. And then what we got? Um, we got another Ferrari under here. Probably a much prettier Ferrari, in my opinion. Definitely one of my favourites. It's a 
355 by the look of it. Yep, uh, 355 GTS. GTS. So it's got yeah. a lift out roof. Awesome. Um, we are a bit tight in here for, for space. Yeah, I was going to say, um, uh, obviously, guys, if you're watching this, um, obviously at home, um, if you want to see some much, much better um, video, uh, sorry, pictures um, of these cars, obviously, there will be pictures of the inside, the outside, and the sides uh, on the website. As I said before, I'll give you links in the bio for everything. Yeah, it's a lovely car. It yeah, really so is. it's uh, red with a cream leather, um, manual gearbox. Again, this is 23,000 miles. Um, it's, it's not been messed around with. It's a lovely, lovely car. Lovely great car to drive. Great noise. That's nice. Um, probably for me, one of the best Ferraris they made, really. I yeah. Mean, I, I think that's the opinion of a lot of. Yeah, I remember. I remember when they first came out. A lot of people were saying that they are one of the best drivers' cars um, of the time, and a lot of people love them. And apparently, they are a real good, real good drive with a proper raspy uh, engine note from yes. the Ferrari. Yeah, and you have to rev it. Yeah, which is nice. Excellent. What we got under here? Is it a um, Porsche? Is it a Porsche? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a Lotus Esprit V8. It belongs to a customer of ours. Okay. And this is a took away, you know, we, we store it for them. And okay. that, that's another um, thing that we offer for our customers Brilliant. is is storage. Okay, great. The 458 next to it is also in storage for a customer. Excellent. Um, I'll give you a little sneak, but I'm not going to show the reg. Yeah. Um, but no, it's I'll a lovely, it's lovely example of a Lotus Esprit V8. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Lovely colour as well. Absolutely lovely. Beautiful. Yeah, so if you guys, if anyone wants storage as well, um, uh, Appreciating Classics and Richard can offer you that as well. So if you want storage, um, get in touch as well. Um, so as I, as I mentioned, this is um, a storage for a customer, but he has said he'd quite like his car in the video. <laughs> oh, okay, awesome. Now, naturally. So, um, oh, yeah, man. this is a 458. 458, definitely one of the, uh, you know, going to be one of the best uh, kind of cars that are out there in Ferrari, really, because it's the last of the high revving um, engines with no turbocharger, which is great. And these, they do sound absolutely amazing. They've got to, be, got to be one of the nicest sounding cars, I think, are absolutely available full stop, period. And they're an absolutely stunning car as well. Really, really nice. Again, Ferrari have done a great job with the 488, but I just, um, you know, not the same with the turbochargers. And they uh, still sound nice, but iconic car, really, really nice. It's gonna be a hell of a car to keep and store away as well but yeah I, yeah I think it's a very wise choice having, having yeah, one of these and definitely, it away. I definitely. Think, I think it's, a, it's a good choice we've got a 996 GT3 which will be available soon um, oh, lovely. I've just had a, a few bits done it's just had a full service Porsche uh, this is 16,000 miles 16,000 lovely um, that's having a machine polish and just a bit of detailing to, to get it ready awesome uh, but yeah, the, the, these are a good investment. Yeah, most definitely. Porsches are going up really well, um, but the, these have still got quite a way to go yet. Yeah, GT3s are you know you something you you can see they're starting to kind of um, be collectible and uh, you know they're they're always an amazing car because they're a proper drivers car yeah, aren't they? yeah. they're an absolute weapon on the track and and on the road to be fair. But yeah, absolutely awesome car. And uh, yeah, available and up for sale. Sixteen thousand miles, did you say? Yeah, sixteen thousand miles. Yeah, awesome. And and full history. No, lovely. So cool. Next one. Okay, so this is a, a nine eleven turbo, or the, the, the model name is nine thirty turbo. Um, and this is this is thirty thousand miles. Lovely example. Lovely colour combo as well. Yeah, it's a nice colour. So, color. yeah, this obviously this this car definitely reminds me of. Um, it reminds me of Bad Boys, yeah. and uh, yeah, it's it's that kind of uh, era of car and that turbo. Yeah. With big, the, big spoiler. Big welt out. Yeah, love it. Wide big arches. Problem. Yeah, it is sexy. It's it a is, very yeah. nice. It's a very. It's it's, it's a lovely example. Uh, yeah, it looks absolutely ma immaculate. I love the colour, I love the combo, I love the wheels, and that is absolutely amazing. Th is this one for sale as well, Richard? Or is it's, it? it's not currently, no. No. That is lovely. So it's 11,000 miles on the clock as well. 
No, it has some speedo change. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little bit different. But yeah, they um, look some match. Uh, they're very common for faulty speedo. Oh, okay. And um, it's all documented. I think. Yeah. yeah I think it's got thirty-two thousand. Oh, amazing. So. Or around there, somewhere so around. So good there. mileage, a bit, you know, prop, bit of bit of proper use, but you know, not much at all. Looks like a great example, and it is actually it's done. It's got. I have to say, it's probably one of the nicest ones I've seen for a long, long time, Richard. It's really nice. We did have a, um, we had a white one with 15,000 miles. Oh, no way. Um, sold that to a, a very good customer over in Ireland. Amazing. Um, and that was absolutely stunning. It, yeah. was, it was really, really incredible condition. That's a gorgeous car. Again, another special car. This is a, this is a Lamborghini Diablo Roadster. Um, again, UK car, right hand drive, very rare. Um, 27 of these made for the UK. And this is the only example in this colour combination. Colour's amazing, absolutely it's such a nice colour. You know, some people would say, wow, a Lambo should be bright orange or bright yellow, or, but I, I just think it's got a real classy look about I it. I think, yeah, not so much in this shape. I think yeah. maybe modern, modern Lambos, yes, yes, I think. Yeah. I think these ones, something like this, is a beautiful, a lovely combination as well. That, that It's like a silver, almost, you know, gun metal, but like, a little bit lighter, isn't it? Yeah. And that that level, that colour level, almost like a wine red, isn't it? It's like yeah. a lovely. It's a, it's a very deep red. Yes. Yeah. Um, really deep red. So this this was one owner from me, and the gentleman bought this car to be his Italy holiday home car transport from oh, no the UK way. to his Italy holiday home. Awesome. Um, and that's all it was used for. Hence the low mileage, um, eleven thousand miles it's done now. Wow. And um, it's a nineteen ninety seven car. So it's now 20 years old, and it doesn't look funny. I, I, think, no. I think if this car was released today, take away, take away this chrome there, yeah. take that away. Yeah. I think people would, would appreciate the shape, the design. Yeah. It's a lovely, lovely it's, design. It, do you know what? This car has grown on me more and more and more, and I think the more I see these cars, the more I like them, especially in this colour combo yeah, as well. Yeah. It, is, it, is, it's, it is one of the stun most stunning cars I've ever, ever seen in my life. It is absolutely beautiful. It is it's, it's actually my dream car. It's, yes, yeah, <laughs> it's I understand, yeah. Oh, it is absolutely gorgeous, it really is. So yeah, you, you need to take me out on this yeah, at some know, point, Richard. The, the thermal <laughs> glass, which was only on yeah. the roadster. I think that's lovely. Yeah, it's lovely. It's got some, it's got loads of lovely touches in there. It's just so many nice angles as well. The dashboard is quite retro. But that's what you expect. That's what you want. Mate. That's Lambo. what you want. That's 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 what you want, though. It doesn't. You don't want it to look modern, do you? I I no, I, no. I, I wouldn't. No. Uh, that's what makes it special, doesn't yeah, it? That's, that's, right. that's definitely what makes it special. I mean, yeah, maybe the modern ones eventually they'll in 20, 25, 40, 30, 40 years maybe they'll look, you know, nice and they'll look retro. But at the moment, this is, it just looks so cool. It's just so simple as well. It is. Absolutely stunning. And a lot of people say, you know, I like Lamborghini build quality and, and reliability. Um, th th there's nothing wrong with this car. No, you've obviously used it. It's uh, it's been used a little bit, and uh, well, I mean, you, if you're not having problems, then I suppose you can testify to that. So that's yeah, lovely. So this one isn't for sale. <laughs> no, no, it's not. No. It's not. No. It's just, is it because it's something that you like so much that you just wouldn't want to part with it, pretty much? <laughs> no, no, um, it's, um, it's, it now belongs to a customer. Oh, okay, um, no, I didn't realise that. That's yeah, yeah. Um, awesome. And he, he's going to be taking delivery of it. He just went for his garage to be finished. Amazing. Um, and, you know, heated floor, that sort of thing. Wow. Um, so we, we're, now, we're now arranging to have it, um, a service done at the main dealer. Yep. Um, and then, then that should be going. And I suspect you'll shed a tear when this goes. I suspect you're right. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I, I, it doesn't, doesn't surprise me. I'd be the same. That is absolutely stunning. But it's the same with a lot of the cars, you know, you get attached to them. Yeah, of um, course. But oh, definitely. You, you know, you, you have to move forwards, you have to, you have to sell things um, to, to move further up the ladder. No, that's cool. I don't blame you. No, it's, well, you've got a lovely collection of cars, Richard. Thank you very much for showing me around. I really, really you're appreciate it. You're very welcome. It. Very welcome. Uh, as always, like I said, guys, uh, make sure you get yourself on that website and have a little look round. And uh, yeah, you uh, 
like I say, keep keep an eye on the stock. Have a look on their Facebook group as well because they've always got really awesome cars. Yeah, Facebook is probably our most yeah. active. Um, you, you, you'll see the cars that we've got coming in that aren't yet on our website. Yeah. Um, and if you do look on our website, you will notice that there's quite a few cars you've seen today that aren't on there. Yeah. Um, that's because they're, they're currently being prepped. Um, or, the, or we're not actively selling them. So yeah, Facebook is a, is a good way of seeing what we've got going on. Okay, guys, so that's a wrap. That's another vlog done. Um, thanks for obviously watching our video on Appreciating Classics. Um, I'm going to give you the links in the bio as to where you need to go to see these awesome guys and what, where their website is and whatnot. Um, as always, guys, like, share, subscribe. Any comments, any questions you've got, comment section below. Hit us up, guys, and we'll answer you. As always, like, share, subscribe, comment, and thanks again for watching. Take care and goodbye, and we'll see you again soon.